Hello everyone and welcome to Fatma Sami's channel. Today we're going to do unit 4 class book for the second grade semester 1. Unit 4. Meet my family. Look at this picture and read the question and answer them. Question 1. Who's got four legs? Atomic got four legs. Where is Atomic? He's under the table. How many chairs can you see? Four. Lesson 1, Part 1, Exercise number 2. Listen and stick, then listen and say. Number 1, Grandma. Number 2, Granddad. Number 3, Mom. Number 4, Dad. Number five, uncle. Number six, aunt. Number seven, brother. Number eight, sister. Number nine, me. Number ten, cousin. Exercise number four. Listen and chant. I'm gonna sing the song to you, so listen carefully. Who is this? It's my grandma. I'm um, hopefully you can see my granddad, my mom, my dad, and me. Who is this? It's my brother. I am happy you can see my sister, my aunt, my uncle, and me. Who is this? It's my cousin. I am happy you can see this is my family and me. Did you like the song? Well, let's move to the next exercise. Exercise number four. Show and say. Show a picture of your family member to a friend and say who is it. Let's see the example. Who's this? It's my uncle. In this page, listen to me reading the story. Number one. Hi, Lily. Who's this? It's my baby cousin. Woo, she's got big blue eyes. Number two. This is my mom and dad. This is my grandma, my granddad, my brother, and my sister. Hello. Number three. This is my cousin, Ted. Hello. Hey, come and help. Number four. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, no, Polly, stop. Number five. Ooh, oh, dear, where's the ball? I don't know. Number six. Look, he's got the ball. Who's that? I don't know. He's got brown hair. Number seven. Lily, I have got the ball. Oh, it's my uncle. Number eight. Look at Bowley. She's got three balls. Yes, she's got a big mouth. Hurry, now we can play. Did you like the story? I think it was a good story. Now let's move to exercise number three. Exercise number three. Look at the story. Read and match. Match the pictures with the correct sentence. Let's see the answers. Number one, who's this? It's my sister, match C. Number two, who's this? It's my uncle, match D. Number three, who's this? It's my cousin, match A. Number four, who's this? It's my granddad, match B. Exercise number five. How many people in Lily's family play the game? Hmm, I think there are eight people. Lesson three, part one. Exercise number one. Listen and say, then listen and circle. Look at the picture, read the words, and listen carefully. Hair, eyes, mouth, ears, 
nose. Now, listen carefully to the description. Look at this picture of me. It's my face. Look, I have got fair hair. I have got big brown eyes and a small nose. I have got a big ears and I have got a big mouth. It's a funny picture. Exercise number two. Listen and find, then listen and sing. Listen to me singing the song, then find the picture. This is my sister. Her name is Claire. She's got a small mouth and she's got a red hair. She's got green eyes. She's got a small nose. Can you find my sister Claire? She's got a small mouth and she's got a red hair. Claire is picture two. Let's move now to the next song. This is my brother. His name is Pierre. He's got a big mouth and he's got big ears. He's got blue eyes. He's got black hair. Can you find my brother Pierre? He's got a big mouth and he's got big ears. Pierre is picture number three. Exercise number three. Look at activity two, say and find. Let's read the dialogue. He's got brown hair. He's got brown eyes. He's got small nose. Number four. Listen for part one. Exercise number one. Listen and draw lines. Listen carefully to the story. Let's start. This is my family. Who's this? Who? This girl. She had red hair and blue eyes. Red hair and blue eyes? That's my sister. Great. Now who's this? He's got black hair, green eyes. Hmm. Black hair and green eyes? It's my brother. What's his name? His name is Jack. Look, he's got a teddy bear. Is this your mom? Who? Here, she's got brown hair. She's got a small nose and big green eyes. Brown hair, small nose and big green eyes? Yes, that's my mom. And who's this over here? Who? The woman with the baby. She's got fair hair and brown eyes. Oh, yes, it's my aunt and the baby is my cousin. Now, let's move to exercise number two. Cut out, then listen and play. Draw a member of your family, then describe them to your friend. Let's read the example dialogue. Mom. She's got red hair and green eyes. She's got big eyes and a small nose. Is it Sally? Yes, it is. Listen 5, part 1. My brother's birthday. Let's read what's in the box. Hi, my name is Iman. This is me and my family. My mother my father and my brother. It's my brother's birthday today. Look at his cake. He's seven today. Happy birthday, Ahmed. Look at this picture. He's got black hair and black eyes. He's got a happy smile. Who is it? Yes, it's my brother, Ahmed. This is my present for my brother, Ahmed. It's a yo-yo. Now, let's move to the project. Make a class art gallery. Number one, draw your family celebrating a birthday. Number two, write, whose birthday is this? Number three, together make a class art gallery. Number four, tell your class about your picture. 
Lesson 6, Part 1. Exercise number 1. Listen, circle the correct word. Listen carefully. Number 1. Sister. Number 2. Aunt. Number 3. Cousin. Number 4. Brother. Number 5. Friend. Number 6. Uncle. Exercise number two. Listen and read. Listen to the conversation between Muna, Nasra, and Safa. I'll read the conversation and you'll listen to the conversation carefully. Hi, Nasra. Who's this? Hi, Safa. This is my sister. Her name is Muna. Hello, Muna. Nice to meet you. Hi, Safa. Nice to meet you too. Exercise number three. Act out the dialogue. Use different names and family members. Talk about your family member with your friend. Lesson seven, part one. Exercise number one. Look and write. Fill in the blank with the correct word. Use the words above. Let's see the answers. Number one. This is my sister. Number two, this is my mom. Number three, this is my uncle. Number four, this is my cousin. Exercise number two, listen and tick. Listen carefully and put a tick under the correct picture. Number one, she's got big eyes, she's got fair hair. Number two, he's got small ears and brown hair. Number three, she's got big mouth and red hair. Number four, he's got big nose and black hair. Lesson seven, part two, exercise number one. Look and read. Put a tick or a cross in the box. Let's see the answers. Number one, she's got big eyes. We put a cross because she doesn't have a big eyes. Number two, he's got brown hair. We also put a cross because he has a yellow hair. Number three, she's got a small nose. We put a tick. Number four, he's got big ears. We put a tick. Number five, she's got fair hair. We put a cross. Number six, he's got a small mouth. We put a tick. Exercise number two, talk about your family. Let's read the dialogue. My mom's got a small nose. My dad got brown eyes. Exercise number one, listen and say. I'm going to read the name of the body part, then you repeat after me. Head. Head. Feet. Feet. Leg. Leg. Arm. Arm. Hand. Hand. Exercise number two. Look and match. Let's see the answers. Number one is already done for you. There are two heads. Number two, there are four arms. Number three, there are seven feet. Number four, there are four hands. Number five, there are five legs. Exercise number three. Say and play. I'm going to read to you the dialogue. There are two heads. No, there are seven feet. Yes, there are eight feet. Lesson 1, part 1. Exercise number 4. Look at the rowboat. Listen and read. Are there three legs? Yes, there are. There are three legs. Is there one arm? No, 
There isn't. There are four arms. Exercise number five. Act out the dialogue. Use different parts of the body. Act out a similar dialogue to the one in exercise number four. Now, let's move to exercise number six. Draw a picture of a funny monster. Write about its body parts. This is a monster. There are two heads. There is one leg. I'll leave the drawing part for you. Now, let's move to the last box in the page. Show what you know. Write, tick, and stick. How many body words can you say now? Can you talk about body parts? Can you count different things? Listen to part one. This is the Atomics Learning Club. Exercise number one. What's in your town? Exercise number two. Listen, read, and check. In my town, there are lots of buildings in my town. There is a school. There is a hospital. There are some shops. There are some houses. There is a cafe. Exercise number three. Match the names with the buildings. Let's see the answers. Houses, hospitals, schools, cafe, shops. Exercise number four. Look and say. Let's look at the dialogue. There is a cafe. Yes, and there are some houses. Listen to part two. Exercise number one. Match the activity with the place. Read the words above and match them with the pictures. Let's see the answers. Number one, house, matches C. Number two, shop, matches E. Number three, hospital, matches B. Number four, school, matches A. Number five, cafe, matches D. Exercise number two. What places do you know in your town? So in the class or in the house, make a map of your town and show the places in your town on the map. Progress path. Read and write, then stick. Read these questions, then answer them. Let's see the answers. Let's start from the bottom left. What color is it? Purple. How many balloons? Ten. What's this? Robo. Is it swing? No, it's a slide. Which is correct? This, these. These are my crayons. Let's move to the next and see the answers. Let's start with unit 2 first. Where's the bin? It's on the table. Unit 3. I have got two. I move them and stamp them. What are they? My feet. Which is correct? Move your body or clap your body. The answer is move. Move your body. Unit 4. She's got red hair. She's got green eyes. Who's that? My sister. Unit 4. Which is correct? His name is Fatima or her name is Fatima? The answer is her name is Fatima. Well done. We reached to the end of our video. Thank you for listening and watching. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.